हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एकेबी ट्यूटोरियल्स सो आई एम ऑल्सो फ्रॉम एकेबी ट्यूटोरियल्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग ग्राफिक्स दैट इज लाइंस एंड देयर यूजेस सो एवरीबॉडी नोज दैट द ड्राइंग इज मेड बाय यूजिंग वेरियस काइंड्स ऑफ लाइंस so the use of various kinds of lines you can see in this figure so there are various kinds of lines so now i will describe one by one what are the various kinds of lines used in the drawings so in the basic definition we understood that representation of an object on a sheet of paper with the help of points lines curves and symbols as per the shape and size it's called engineering drawing so now in engineering drawing first it's coming is point what is actually point so point has no dimension it does not occupy any space so then how we can define a point so it is so in coordinate system so we have seen this point each denoted by by say some x distance and some y distance so this point is specified by x distance and y distance so the coordinates of this point is x y so the point indicates the coordinates of a point of a of a Uh, coordinates uh, of uh, in a space sorry so point indicates the coordinates in a space so just it specify the location so coordinates in a space just it specify the location so that it and and in practice we are denoting a point by using a dot so we are writing as a dot so dot so one dot is used to denote the point okay so now next is the line what is line and straight line we will see the line now line is defined as say a point is moving in a particular direction so if we join all the points so then it will give a line so the the locus of a moving point of a moving point extended in a particular direction in a particular direction is known as a is known as a straight line so the locus of a moving point extended in a particular direction is known as a straight line if if this word is not given so the line may be a curved line the the locus of a moving point moving point is in any direction in any direction is known as is known as a curved line is known as a curved line so line may be a straight line so that means a moving point is moving along this line so if we join all the points so it will give a straight line and the locus of a point moving in a in any direction 
so it may be in this direction or in this direction if we join all the points then it will give a curved line now we will see the arc what is the arc arc of a circle so say this is the circle the locus of a moving point which is equidistant so the moving point is moving along the circumference of this circle so that the locus of the moving point so that the condition is is equidistance from a fixed point this fixed point this is the fixed point so now the locus of a moving point this is the moving point the point is moving along the circumference and the distance maintained from this fixed point to this locus that is constant so the focus of a uh, the the locus of a moving point moving so that it maintains a constant distance from fixed fixed point this fixed point is called the center of the circle and this locus means this, this is known as a circle and arcs are the part of the circle is called the arc so say this is the arc of a circle the part of a circle is called the arc now the various symbols are used in the drawing so the symbol may be used to define something like say sq so that means square c y l that is cylindrical so these are the various symbols it may be it may be the angles defined by alpha or theta or like this there are tables so we will see in another lecture what are the various symbols used in drawing okay so there are various symbols used for drawing the component so that means drawings are made by using points lines arcs and symbols now we will see the various types of lines so while laying uh, laying out the uh, the drawing sheet over the drawing board so first we have drawn say this is the drawing sheet so first we have drawn the margin so by leaving 20 millimeter this side and on all other side it is 10 millimeter so this line is called the margin so by leaving 20 millimeter at the left left end and at and all other end so we have left 10 millimeter 10 millimeter 10 millimeter so this line is called the margin line okay and this is generally made by using thick line thick continuous line so we will see that is called thick continuous line now next on this the border lines are drawn so by 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 using rectangular boxes so generally in school colleges we are not doing but uh, in actual sheet so so like this so this border line is made so after margin line so this is the border line it is made and these rectangular boxes are made here so this is called the border line throughout this the boxes are formed so this is the border line and drawing is made inside this so here we are making the title block okay so this is other part so we have got two types of line that is okay now next we will see the outline okay 
so outline or okay these are the outlines so it is drawn to show the the visible edges so this is called the outline of drawing outline so this is a continuous thick line continuous thick line is used to draw this the outer lines outer line to show the visible edges so this this is also to show the visible edges so this is also to show the visible edges so first one uh, okay the third kind of line so we have got we have got the margin then we have got the border line then we have got the outline outline sorry this is the same wording outline okay next we will see the dimension line so dimension line is used here you can see to show the dimension of this length so say it is 80 millimeter so it is shown like this a thin continuous line is used to show the dimension of the object so this is called the dimension line and at the end of the dimension line at both the ends there is arrow arrow is placed at the end of the dimension line so you can see say this is the line at the end there is arrow head so this is called the dimension line next is we will see the extension line so we want to show the dimension here so from here we are taking the projections so this line is known as the extension line so here we can place the dimensions so so this part of the line this line so after leaving one to two millimeter then put a dot and then again leave one to two millimeter and this this one maximum extended is three millimeter beyond this arrow head so this is called the extension line extension line next we will see the other kind of line that is center line so these lines are thin lines and drawn like this 3 to 4 mm then Place, put a put a dot here then just by leaving one to two millimeter and leave one to two millimeter then so like this this is the center line to show the center of the symmetric object or to show a circle say say if it is a circle so from both the side we have to put the center line from both the right at an angle 90 degree we have to put the center line if it is a symmetrical object say say it is a cylinder okay say a solid cylinder then we have to put the center line if it is a hollow cylinder then also we have to put a center line and okay so we have put this is the in outer diameter of the cylinder this is the dimension line this is the extension line dimension line and and this kind of line will come that is called hatching line or sectional line hatching line or sectional line okay say a cylinder is cut into two halves say this is the cylinder this is the inner diameter, hollow cylinder. So now, if this hollow cylinder is cut into two halves, okay, so this is the cutting plane. 
So then what we will see? We will see like this. This is the inner circle. The outer circle. So this material portion will cut. Okay, this is the center line and we will find this place and, and, and this side the material will cut. So in orthographic view it is shown like this. So this is the hatching line or, or section line. So generally section lines, so this is say, your center line, then the section line. So this uh, line is drawn at an angle, so with, with, with horizontal, the angle between this line is generally it is 45 degree. And the spacing is 3 to 5 millimeter, the gap, uniform gap to 3 millimeter. Three, 3 millimeter gap and this is a thin line, thin continuous line and the gap maintained is 3 millimeter. Okay, so hatching line. Next will come the hidden line. Next you will see the hidden line. So here you can see this is a circle, but uh, if we see, so this is a circle, so front view, so this is the top view, but uh, top from top view the circle is visible, but uh, if we see the front view the circle is not visible, so it is shown by dotted line. So this line, 2 to 3 millimeter line, then leaving 1 to 2 millimeter gap and it is, it is like this. And this length, this length in between, it will remain same and leave a gap between that. So this is called the hidden line or sometimes it is called dotted line, dotted line. Now next we will see little line to show, show the dimension of this, okay the diameter of this is given by say arrow head is placed here and here so diameter of this circle and a horizontal line here at the end so this is called the the pointer line or 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 it's called that is leader line leader line or or pointer p o i n t e r pointer line so to give uh, the additional information uh, regarding the diameter and diameter symbolically it is written as phi say diameter is 10 millimeter so we will write phi phi 10 so this indicates the diameter of this uh, circle is 10 millimeter. Now, next line is the cutting plane line. Cutting plane line. So, this line is just like a center line, but center line just like it is a center line, but at the end, say. So here it is shown, PP is the section plane, so at the end it will be thick. So at the end the line will be thick, it shows that the cutting plane is passing through this line. Cutting plane is passing through this line, so this is called the cutting plane line. So we have seen center line, cutting plane line, hidden line, then dimension line, extension line, then one more line here is called the 
locus line. See, this is the moving component which is moving in a circle with this at center. So, this center is moving along this path. So, this is called the locus line. Now, another, so this part of the component, it is extended, it is long enough. So, to show here in a short space, this type of curve is used. So, you can show here separately. So, this type of curve is used. That is called the brake line or short brake line. What is short? Break line and if it is a long break, it is shown by this. So, long break line is shown like this, leave a gap. So, here it is drawn like this, and then this. So it is long break line, long break line. So these are the various lines used for, for drawing of this object on a sheet of paper. So this is the important line which is the very important element of engineering drawing. Because uh, with the help of various lines, we are drawing the component so that the information is supplied to other engineers. So by seeing this drawing, other engineers can understand what is the meaning of the various lines. Where is the hidden line? What is the dimension line? What is the extension line? What is the center line? Then what is cutting plane line, what is leader line, what is locus line, etc. So that means, so this, this actually various types of lines by using these lines, we are meaning something. So in a table, if we see the various types of lines and their description, so this is actually the application of lines in a particular drawing. So in every drawing, you use these lines to draw the components on a sheet of paper. So in every drawing, we have to we have to use the lines so that any drawing can be made on the drawing sheet so that the actual information can be supplied to, to other engineers. Now, lines and their descriptions. So, first kind of line is continuous thick line. So, the thickness is more for this line. So, there is no break in between. That is continuous thick line. So, we have seen the application, the margin and outline of the object means the visible edges of the object is drawn by using these lines that is continuous thick line. Next is continuous thin line, comparatively the thickness is small, thickness is less. So, this is the continuous thin line, continuous thin line. So, this line is used in various places. We have seen for dimension line, for extension line, for leader line, for drawing center line also. So, uh, not center line, center line is not continuous. So, extension line or leader line or dimension lines. So, these are the various uh, places where the continuous 
thin line is used now next is the continuous thin so of short break continuous thin narrow line sorry so this is continuous thin narrow free hand line continuous thin narrow free hand line for free hand drawing so we have shown that short break line like this short break line what we have seen now that is short break line so it is continuous thin narrow line free hand now continuous thin narrow with zigzag with zigzag so here we have seen so this is the long break line so now we have seen the long break line are shown like this so it is so this is the line Here in the designation, eh, sorry, the types of line. So this is the line. Sorry. The continuous thin, narrow with zigzag line. Now next line is the hidden line. Next kind of line is. hidden line so if uh, the edges are not visible so the hidden edges are shown by the hidden lines it is uh, continuous thin line but uh, placed small small uh, 4 to 5 mm there is a gap 2 to 3 mm and uniform spacing it will be used to show the so the hidden portion of the object it is also called dotted line this is also known as dotted line now we will see the center line to show the center of a symmetrical object to, to show the center of a symmetrical object so center line is used so center line is just it is drawn like this so just 4 to 5 mm or or slightly more also so then leave 2 mm gap put a dot then 2 mm gap then the same length of line here so it will continue so the hida center line to so the center of symmetrical object or to the center of to so the center of the circle then cutting plane line now cutting plane line this line is also like center line but uh, the difference is at the end the line will be thicker one so the thickness of the line at the end will be more so it is the cutting plane line so so these are the various lines which is used for drawing the component on a drawing sheet so every line is different the thickness also different and the thickness as well as it may be continuous it may be 
dotted or just like the center line or Lucas line. Lucas line is also like center line, but it will be a curved one. That is Lucas line. So this is the Lucas Lucas line. So we have seen in the figure. Also, we can show the dimension line. Dimension line. It is actually the this line continuous thin line, but at the end there is arrow head. So then it is a dimension line. Now the extension line. Say extension line. In this, say this is the component. Now we have to show the dimension of this component. So just put a dot leaving 1 to 2 millimeter gap. Then leave 1 to 2 millimeter gap and a short line. Then this side also same. And then put a put a dimension line here. So this line is called the dimension line where the arrow head is placed at the ends and this is known as the extension line and this one is known as dimension line and dimension is placed say 40 millimeter so dimension is placed over this line okay so i hope the various kinds of lines is understood by all and if you refer various drawings so means if you observe the drawings, various drawings, then you can clearly understand what are the various kinds of lines and you can remember easily by seeing the figures. Okay friends, this is all about the different kinds of lines. So line is very important part of uh, engineering drawing because with the help of lines, we are drawing the component on a sheet of paper. So, if you don't remember these lines, so your drawing will not give the meaningful information. So, to, to supply the meaningful information, your drawing should contain separate lines at the appropriate places. Thank you. And this is all about this video. And, and friends, if you like the video, please subscribe the channel and like and forward the video to others. Thank you. We will meet you soon with a next video. Third angle projection method is used for drawing the projections. Okay, friends. This is all about this video. We will meet soon with a next exciting video. And if the video is helpful to you, please subscribe, like and share the video. Thank you. We will meet soon.